Assalamu alaikum. Peace be on to you all. Welcome to the second episode of English podcast with Asif. First of all, I would like to thank you all for the support and appreciation you showed for the last video that was the first episode of English podcast with Asif. I thank you again for joining us today. Today I ain't alone here. I have a guest with me. He is a voracious reader, a charismatic speaker, and a loyal student of mine. His name is Burhan Butt. He is an 11th class student, a passionate learner of English language. He is really a feather in my cap. He has been a wonderful student always. Today he is sharing with us some benefits of reading and writing poetry. So without much ado, let me ask him to share his thoughts. So listen till end. There are some great insights and there is some great learning in it. And at the end, I have something important to offer you. So here it is. Thank you, Burhan, for joining us. This is Burhan here. And I would like to thank Mr. Asif sir, my teacher who gave me this opportunity to talk in his podcast episode series. So today my topic is about the benefits of poetry. One must know before going to the benefits of poetry what poetry is. So what poetry is, it's very important for a person to know. As far as the word poetry is concerned, it's derived from a Greek word meaning making. So poetry is actually making. If we see literature, it's divided into two forms. One is prose, another is poetry. So it's simply a form of literature that often uses rhythmic qualities of language to describe different tastes, nature and sentiments. So, if you are having sentiments and feelings inside you, when you give it a shape in the rhythmic qualities of language and describe it through the words, that's what poetry is. So, it's an art in which the expressions, feelings, ideas are given a style and a shape and intensity in a particular texture. That's what poetry is. When your expressions, your feelings, your ideas, your intensity of pain and emotions are given a particular texture through words that's what poetry is if we would like to describe poetry what it is it's a really big task so let me conclude the meaning of poetry with a creative sentence that is the purpose of literature is to turn blood into ink okay so your emotions which uh, circulate through you that are put in the, into the ink through the this form of literature okay it was about the meaning of poetry so coming to the main point what are the benefits of poetry you are the sea of pain and you should dribble like a rain to put heaviness out of your heart when you feel pain when you feel like that heavy hearted you should dribble like the rain the pain should come out of you. When you share it, you feel relaxed. You feel relaxed. If you are feeling depressed, feeling lonely, feeling awkward, and your sadness ruptures out through the series of verses of poem, and you feel relaxed like when sweat leaves your body, it takes the heat out of us. Similarly, poetry makes you feel. If a person is feeling heat in summer season, when sweat glands secrete sweat out of him, the latent heat comes out of him and he, he feels relaxed. Similarly, when poetry is put on the paper, your emotions are put on the paper in the form of poetry, in the form of rhythmic qualities, you will really feel relaxed. So it's the writing benefit of it. You feel relaxed, you feel happy. That's a very, very big benefit of it. A drop of ink may make a million things. What does it mean? If you go through any texture, any material, any book, you will always find small sentences. Yeah, small sentences, but with very, very wide 
and big concepts. When you try to accomplish big tasks or big examinations, one must know how to do the critical examination of the topics. So to make millions and millions of productive ideas in your mind, one should know how to understand the sea, the river behind the lake. The verse of poetry is not only a simple verse. It is a lake. It may appear to you as calm, but the river which is flowing behind it, it's really intense. So to understand the critical meaning of words, poetry helps you in that. When you know how to understand poetry critically, you will understand the other texts critically as well. Because the thing which you will learn here in poetry, that will help you in other field. And the world wants today the multitasked people. For that you should know how to do the critical examination of the things, how to do critical learning. That's what poetry teaches you. So this is the reading benefit of poetry. Another benefit of poetry, the very important benefit of poetry in today's world is that understanding the sequence, putting the words and ideas to frame the ideas in the sequence. You will come to know how to frame your ideas. In poetry, each verse is set in a perfection. The themes are set in series, in steps. That's what teaches you how to put your ideas in steps, how to put your ideas in sequence, at which step you have to say which word, how to imagine through words, how to listen through words. That's what poetry teaches you. How to draw in the sea of critical meaning. That's what poetry teaches you. So, if you would like to understand the benefits of poetry, they are locked. The Lord, when you will go through in this sea of poetry, you will go deep and deep and deep and deep, and there is no end in it. So, at end, I would like to conclude with another benefit of poetry is that when weapons don't work, your words work. If you see a person who is coward, who is not able to raise his voice, the words work, the words of poetry work. To give voice to him, it gives voice to the voiceless. It gives burning crave to a person. That's what is the power of poetry. So simply, it is the ability to translate your sentiments into words. It brings voice to voiceless. It brings a voice to suffering and torment. It makes you understand how to write the things, how to understand the things into sequence. How to put your pain out of you to feel relaxed. How to do the critical thinking. So let's be the part of this poetry, part of this art, part of this masterpiece. To understand the creativity, to understand this world, to understand how to perform things in a different way. That's what poetry teaches us. I hope you like it and listen it patiently. So thank you for listening this video. If you are new subscriber to this video, so please subscribe this channel and tap the bell icon. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Burhan, for this wonderful attempt. I really enjoyed, and I'm sure our audience too felt the same. This was really a good piece, Burhan. Uh, thank you very much once again. So, dear audience, dear friends, uh, Burhan was talking about the benefits of writing and reading poetry, and there are plenty of them. He uh, mentioned, like uh, you know, if you if you write poetry, it helps you to get away from the pain. It helps you to overcome the pain, because uh, in life there are ups and downs. You are sometimes very happy, excited, and sometimes you are cold and you are sad. And this is all about life. It's not always the bed of roses. It is sometimes bed of thorns. And at that point of time, you want to share your feelings with with people. You want to share your worries with people. And you know, people are not that patient. They are going to listen to you all the time. Yeah, there are good people who listen to you, but uh, most of the time, what happens is that people do not. People are tired of hearing you. So poetry, especially, helps you to. You know, put down your pain on paper, as Burhan was talking about that. So that's a really great benefit. Thank you, Burhan, once again for sharing that uh, benefit.
uh, furthermore in this world today uh, it's a world of competition it's world of contest and there are people time and again coming with something new something creative so creativity is demanded and this poetry reading helps you to develop that uh, creativity and critical thinking in you that Burhan was talking about and furthermore he was talking about the structuring we know how to structure uh, maybe your speech or your writing okay because uh, poetry is a you know short piece of art and you are able to see how it is constructed how it is structured so structuring things is uh, learned by reading poetry and last but not least is uh, that it gives voice to the voiceless okay that was a very wonderful point I, I like that uh, because poetry is uh, an impactful uh, impactful way of expressing yourself expressing uh, your thoughts your, your, your feelings okay so uh, when you put your thoughts into a rhythmic style and they have more uh, you know influence on the mind of minds of people okay uh, you might have read uh, the chapter in 10th class of yours uh, that was about Annie Frank's diary so Annie Frank is a talkative girl and her teacher is irritated by her and uh, he keeps on complaining and giving her tasks okay and uh, when she is uh, trying to convince her teacher uh, through writing prose the teacher is not convinced and at the end you might have read the chapter if you haven't then you can go for it it's in 10th class okay or you can go for the uh, book diary of a young girl a wonderful uh, diary that is you can go for that also so uh, at the end she seeks help from a friend of hers who is good at poetry she is she writes a poem and uh, then at the end uh, the teacher is convinced and he, he laughs because that was a funny poem so to cut it short it provides an easy way to to influence and to convince people so I was saying that at the end I have something to offer you so your name can be brought up in the upcoming uh, podcast so what you have to do you can um, you can ask a question okay in the comment box so we'll be trying to uh, answer that and we'll be bringing up your name also so that was it about today's podcast thank you very much for listening so if you have any suggestions anything so you can put that in the comment box and like our video and share it with your friends thank you very much god be with you